What's up Rapid Ravens? It's me Rameha and welcome back to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I film and edit my videos. Can't keep my eyes open. Let's talk about planning your videos. That for me is probably the hardest step in all the steps. <laughs> so for planning, you would think that I would just, you know, turn on the camera and be like, okay, let's do this. And then I just get on with it. But no, it takes much longer than that. My inspiration, first of all, I find it very hard to get, you know, ideas. That's the hardest part ever. So yeah, <laughs> I get inspired by other YouTubers like Sydney Serena and Camry Noel, just to name two. <laughs> but I get inspired by them, and then I look, at the, I watch their videos. So yeah, I watch other YouTubers' videos. I get inspired, and then I'm like, ooh, you know, that's a really fun, enjoyable video. I liked watching it, and then I decide to put my own twist on it, or I decide to just try it out and see how it goes. So that's how most of my videos start. Back in the day I used to create like comedy skits with my friends and those were more planned. It wasn't like we went with it, which sometimes we did, but like most of the ones that I do on my own, like the mother versus daughter skit, which you can watch, click in the right corner of the screen, which may be here or here, I never remember, but for that video, I created a whole script. I can show you an example of like a script that I do, if I can find it. <laughs> I have like a notebook right here because I always use my notebook to help me decide what um, I'm gonna do. Like for example, my 50 facts video, these were all the facts. So I basically would do five in each clip, if that makes sense. And then I put it all together in, well I edited, if that makes sense. Why do I keep on saying that? <laughs> but that's what I do. I try to go unscripted, but like for videos where it's just me filming a comedy skit, I have to do scripts like this where I name the characters and then I write down what they're gonna say. And some of these videos, I have created scripts, but I've never filmed them because either I think they're too cringy or just I needed a second person, but I'm lonely, so. <laughs> Yeah. Also, my friends are very helpful in planning my YouTube videos because if I have like an idea, I like bounce it off them and then we somehow like work together to create like a way better idea than it was. And I do that a lot. And that's also what I did for today because I couldn't think of what to film. So I asked my friends and they said to film this. Thank you guys. Oh, I just I hate myself. Now, preparation. So this is before I turn the camera on and start filming. This is like the day of filming. So now that I have a ring light, it's like, okay, woo, I got a ring light, it's okay. If it's dark, I can film. But before, um, when I didn't have a ring light, I would look at the lighting outside and then I'd be like, okay, uh, should I film today? You know, I would think about that. And now that I have a ring light, I can just choose whenever, right? Because see, right now I needed it because it's very dark outside. Not dark, but it's not that light either. So I decided to take out my ring light. Now I also have to take audio under account. But then I have to think about my mom. What's she doing? Is she cooking? Which I have filmed while she was cooking. <sighs> yeah, but oh well. But I take my mom, I see, is she cooking? Look at that first. Um, Nico. Nico is a hard thing to control with audio because he whines. Because I always close the door before I film just so he can't be inside with me. Um, because he's also really loud. But right now he's asleep, so that's good. And equipment.
So for this setup, I just have a chair that I'm sitting on. I have my ring light and I got my camera. For my camera, I always make sure that it has enough juice to film a video. So I always charge it beforehand to make sure that I have a full battery pack and there are no problems. In case you were wondering, I have a Canon EOS M100 and that's what I used to film. And that's basically all I needed. Well, sometimes I take out my backdrop set, which I was too lazy to use for this video because I was like, we can, we can just stick with the closet right there, so yeah. Now when it's time to film, I just go for it. I just say whatever without meaning to sometimes. Like sometimes I talk and then I realize that I've said like seven words wrong so I gotta refilm that all and just do that. But most of the time I'm able to just go with the flow and see where it takes me. Like right now I'm filming and I'm like, okay, how am I gonna even edit all of this into one like eight minute video, which I am aiming for. Hopefully we get eight minutes, but I like to ramble a lot so probably not. But I am constantly thinking, okay, how am I going to put this together? How am I going to edit it? And I think that's really important that you think about how, like your clips and everything. How is it all going to go in together? Uh, because you don't want like a choppy video because that's just really confusing. So that's something that I'm thinking about right now. Like, hello, editing me. But I'm thinking about it right now. So like, am I going to put the clips on top of each other? Are we going to like, you know... Um, put cutaways, you know, uh, picture in picture, stuff like that, split screen, etc., which I never do. Right before I click the record button, I want to make sure that everything's in the frame. So that's what I do first make sure everything's in the frame, make sure I'm where I want to be, make sure that there's no distractions outside, make sure that everything is running smoothly, and then I the record button. Fun fact, I mostly change my clothes before I film because I look like a mess and I need to change. My face in this just shows how confused I was because I was like, I don't know what I'm doing at this point. <laughs> I usually take off my glasses at this point. Yeah, I never change my pajamas. I just stay in my pajamas because I was like, no one's ever going to see my pants or anything, so I'm not wearing jeans and that's just me being weird. <laughs> While I film, I like to take lots of pictures. Sorry, that was so awkward. But yeah, I like to take a few pictures and stuff. So like I can post on my story, go check it out people, you know, stuff like that. And see, I don't really have anything to do while filming. I just sit on this chair and I just film. I just go for it. And I think that's what you should do. I feel like too much, sometimes too much preparation just ruins a video. So for my editing, the first thing I like to do is transfer everything to my MacBook. Like I want to make sure I have all my clips, all my pictures, everything there first before I do anything. And sometimes that can take a while just because I don't have like a USB port in my MacBook, which is sad, but that's all right. <laughs> so I just have to wirelessly transfer everything so that's that can take a while so this is why I take a long time to like edit and stuff which it really shouldn't take me that long but it does <laughs> people ask me this so much what do you use to edit well I use iMovie and uh, honestly I don't do much with my videos I try not to at least I try to like just merge everything and then like you know if there's something funny zoom in or whatnot but yeah because sometimes i feel like if you do too much editing it becomes like over editing and it's like that's extra <laughs> so yeah I feel, I feel i feel so extra right now right before i finish up filming i take a bunch of pictures for my custom thumbnails and sometimes I forget to do that and when I say sometimes it's like nine times out of ten I forget to do that and I just use one of the frames in this YouTube video to create a thumbnail. I start off with some decent pictures and then I just get goofy and I eventually stop. 
that's a wrap and thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like and subscribe so you never miss out on another video and you can become a part of the rapid ravens family also let me know in the right corner of the screen that was <laughs> let me know in the right corner of the screen if you guys want me to create a custom thumbnails tutorial video that's not what i was trying to say but you get what i mean if you want me to show you how i make my custom thumbnails let me know by clicking in the right corner of the screen and voting on this poll so i'll know if that's what you guys want to see because i think i've gotten a few requests for it in the past but i'm like yeah i'll film it and then i totally forgot but let's see who wants it <laughs>